Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Easy Mini Painting with me, Christopher Ridge. And we are going to be moving on with the Doom board game. In this case, we're going to be knocking out these big, bad, mean, angry, big barons of hell here. They're actually really, really, really easy to paint. There's not really a lot to them. So, without any further ado, let's just get on to it. Alright, the first thing that we will have started with is actually a solid layer of Warlock Purple, and that'll be a pretty good base coat for everything. After that, we're going to get into the legs. Now, luckily, you know, we're saving these barons for, you know, the second to last, but these are actually probably going to be really, really, really easy to paint. So what we'll take out is we're going to take out some Barbarian Flesh right here, and we're going to use this on the legs. Doesn't really matter what brush that you use, you can use just probably any sort of brush because it's not like you're doing any fine details right now or anything like that. And luckily they make it pretty easy here, there are some pretty good defining sort of uh, areas on the legs here that will be brown. There's this sort of like almost thigh pad right here, that's going to be all brown, whereas the flesh underneath, that's going to stay that warlock purple color, and then it kind of, you know, comes to the back here. And then basically everything up is going to be all pink. So all we're going to do is we're going to go over these legs, and then we're going to move on to the next thing. There you go. So that's kind of a good thing to look at right there. You basically just want to keep, like I said, the under layer of those thighs nice and pink. Oh, and I didn't get his his butt here. Like I said, the, the he's got some some kind of armor pieces on his butt that are going to be this flesh color. Yeah, just as simple as that. That's the kind of thing that you're looking for right there. So you're just going to do that to each leg, and you're going to do that for both of them. Shouldn't be a huge deal to do, but you just want to come all the way down to the hoof. Alright, easy as that. That's all that you're wanting to do right there, and you're just going to do that for each leg of the Baron. You want to leave the hoof unpainted. You can go over it a little bit if you want. It's not going to be a huge deal just because we're going to go over that with another color. But if you just want to get some practice in, I would say just try to avoid painting the hoof and, you know, getting some uh, some edge work done there. Because it's a good place to pa practice since you're going to go over it with another color later on. But yeah, just do the legs and then move on. Alright, so there we go. Now we've got a nice layer of that barbarian flesh over all of the legs. Those look pretty decent. Okay, so we're just going to rinse off our brush now. All right, and now we're going to move on to the hooves, the horns, and the claws. And they've got kind of a dark color. They're they're very much like uh, like horse hooves or bull hooves or something like that. So they're actually pretty dark. We're going to use this oak brown color. It's just a nice dark brown color. All right, once again, it doesn't really matter what type of brush you use. Just whatever brush you're the most comfortable with. I would start with the claws while your paint is still nice and uh, thin. And I would just go over each little claw with this oak brown color. All right, that's it for the one claw right there. And there we go, so now we've just got the claws on there. Those look pretty decent. Next up, we'll, uh, let's go ahead and move on to the horns, actually. And yeah, you're just going to go over the horns with this oak brown color, simple as that. It shouldn't be too big of a deal. Luckily, again, you know, similar to the legs, there's not a lot of detail that you need to worry about with this particular part of the miniature. The only things that we're going to do detail-wise are going to be the face, which will include the eyes and the teeth, but those should be pretty straightforward whenever we get to those. All right, there we go. Simple as that. That's all that you really need to get for the horns. And then we're going to do the same thing with the hooves. One thing that I'll address while I'm, you know, this close to the base right now, too, is that I did go over the base with a layer of matte black, uh, as I'm sure you can tell. Uh, in some of the previous miniatures, you might want to do, like, the, with, the Re uh, with the Revenant and the Mancubi, you might want to do the bases last, 
but I think that that's probably the only... Oh, and the same with the Cyber Demon, but we'll, we'll address that when we get there, too. You might want to do the bases last for them. Otherwise, with the rest of these miniatures, you can just do the bases before you even uh, move on to anything else. I don't think that uh, should be a big deal. Whatever you decide to do. If you want to do the bases first, like I did here, or if you want to do them last, doesn't really matter. All right, and then, yeah, simple as that. So now we've got those nice brown hooves right there for the Baron of Hell. And we're just going to do the same thing to the other one over here. All right, and now you've got some nice color schemes going for your Barons there. You know, that's pretty much all of the base coat stuff. That's all the hard stuff down, and that wasn't even all that hard. So now we're just going to move on to our wash. And I think it'll probably be the best thing to use our Flesh Wash Quick Shade right here. And we'll also do the thing too where we water down our Quick Shade a little bit. That will just kind of help to get it inside of all of the recesses and spread it out a little bit more and just make it a little bit easier to use overall. And we'll just start with the... Oh, you know what? So I actually realized as I was just about to start this uh, Quick Shade that I completely forgot to do the faces. Uh, what I wanted to do was the teeth before I actually apply the wash, but just so that we're not wasteful, I'm just going to go ahead and use the wash that I've gotten out already, and then after that we'll just move on. Alright, there we go. I just uh, went ahead and used the quick shade that I had already gotten out by accident there. I'm rushing myself, rushing myself a little bit too much right now, so I need to just slow down a little bit. Alright, I'm going to rinse this brush off and then I'm going to move on to the actual teeth that I was talking about a second ago. And to do those teeth, we're going to use our go-to Elven Flesh right here. This is just a really nice, good teeth color that works pretty well. I will use a slightly smaller brush. I'll go ahead, in this particular case, I'll use a uh, Reaper Standard brush right here. You don't need to use anything too small or, or anything like that. Just kind of do something that's comfortable for you. Luckily, the teeth on the Baron of Hell are actually pretty straightforward. If you want, you can even do what we did with the Caco Demon, where you just sort of go over the entire row of teeth with this Elven Flesh color. Or if you want to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of extra credit, a little bit of extra fun stuff, you can go over each little individual tooth just to bring them out a little bit more. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do that just for the sake of getting some practice in here. I kind of like it's it's a nice touch to me that the uh, one of the one of the buck teeth on the Baron is just sort of, you know, broken off, sort of <laughs> chiseled off. I just think that that's a cute little touch uh, from the sculpt. There you go. So you just got, got the nice teeth right on there just like that. If I can get it to focus there, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty decent right there. But yeah, just a little something like that. I'm going to do the same thing to the other one. All right, and there we go. That's just a nice row of teeth on the other one there, too. All right, now we're going to go back to our quick shade that we were using. All right, just a little something like that. That is the kind of thing that we are looking for right there. That will be just fine. So now we're going to do that to the other one. After that completely dries, we're going to move on to the next step. But yeah, I would say similar to how we did the previous miniatures, you might... Yeah, uh, yeah, you might you might let them dry before you move on to the next step. So get the flesh wash on there, let them dry, and then move right on. All right, and then after those are completely dry, that's pretty much it. We're just gonna do one last thing, and that's that we're gonna go ahead and get the eyes. Pretty straightforward. We're just gonna take out our jungle green color right here, and you're just gonna take another sharp pointed brush, and you're just gonna dot those eyes on there. It should be pretty straightforward. Yeah, just take another, you know, sharp pointed brush. Doesn't really matter which one, just whatever you're comfortable with. Just get a little bit of paint on the tip there. And luckily the eyes are pretty well defined on this miniature. So you should be able to uh, do this pretty easily. Alright, easy as that. Yeah, like the eyes aren't going to be super apparent. But they're going to be there, and they're, they're something that you can still look at. They're still quantifiable, and they're there if you want to look at them. And we're just going to do the same thing to the other one. 
And then that's the other one right there. And then that will be it. The very last thing that I'm going to do is, and I'll do this off camera just to save time, is that I'm going to apply a gloss varnish to the whole miniature, and then I'm going to do a matte varnish for the base, just to, uh, you know, match the other miniatures that uh, we've done so far. And that'll be it. And there you go, everybody. Those are the Barons of Hell from the Doom board game. Like I said, very, very, very simple miniatures to paint. Not a lot that you need to do, especially if you start with a base coat of a pink color, in this case, Warlock Purple that we used here. The rest of it is all pretty straightforward. So there you go, everybody. If you like the video, go ahead and throw it a like. If you want to see the last of the Doom board game getting painted, in this case, the Cyber Demon, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. At some point, I'll move on to the Resident Evil 2 board game. I'm either going to get to that right after I finish the Cyber Demon. I might move on to something else before then. I haven't really decided yet. We'll just kind of go from there. Yeah, it's, it's my channel. I can do what I want. <laughs> so I won't take up any more of your time. Oh, you can follow me on Twitter. I'm at Paint a Mini. Uh, on Twitter, I'll sort of, you know, be more myself and just sort of post, you know, uh, random little fun things and that kind of thing. Uh, but I'm also on Instagram with the same username, which is Paint a Mini. And that... I tend to do more of the actual miniature stuff. I'll, I'll do uh, postings that are more exclusively miniatures and that kind of thing. So thank you again, everybody, for watching. We'll see you next time on Easy Mini Painting. Have a good night. Because if you start with a base coat of uh, the pink color, in this case, Warlock Purple, then Got a loud neighbor with a loud car.